This is a longer video of the animatronic Seaman project, which I started years ago, and I'll do a bit on every now and again, but it's finally at a state that I'd, I'd like to just put a video out there for it. How's it going? I'm fine. It's based on the weird Japanese game called Seaman, in which you raise a talking fish. All I need is your company right now. With a human face that asks you questions about your life. Masher. Masher. So it's by no means finished, but I just thought I'd get a video out there to show what I've got so far. It's basically like the definition of feature creep, this project. I'll add on all of these extra features and, and I'd just like to be able to show them. Seaman himself is 3D printed uh, and then he's running code in Python on a Raspberry Pi and there's a second Raspberry Pi that's inside the fish tank. The original audio and the game files are taken from the, the game itself. Are you coming on to me? And there's around 11,500 different responses that he can give. Uh, so sometimes there's the same statement will have multiple different versions of it. And it also tracks whether he's happy or sad. I had some hot chocolate earlier. And his responses can depend on whether he's in a good mood or not. Talk to me. It's rather difficult making out what's on the other side of this glass. So let me inquire. Are you a male or a female? A male. I didn't code in all of the questions because at the time I was painstakingly going through them, working out which WAVs applied for any given response. Uh, but I did pick uh, around 24 main questions and then from there it can branch a little bit. Tell me, what do you do for a living? I work in computers. You work with computers? Yes. So you get to sit and stare in front of a monitor all day long. I hear that can be bad for your back and eyes. I hope you do stretches and take lots of breaks. So when you're out of a question context, there's also a whole bunch of different things that you can say to Seaman. So they're all implemented. And there's also an extra kind of worry tree. So if you say, uh, I'm worried about something, he'll, he'll ask a bunch more questions and that all branches off a load as well. I was wondering, are you married? No. Some of the questions that I cut out were because it goes into a bit more detail than you'd need about asking relatives' ages and health and stuff like that. They're just it, it's, it's necessary for the game, but it's just not necessary if I'm, if I'm showing this to people. <laughs> this is an original uh, gamepad that, that was faulty, um, and I'd taken it apart. This section behind um, is just to hold the microphone in place, and also to have a battery pack for powering it if I don't want to plug it in via USB. Um, and then inside, uh, again, broken VMU, which has been taken apart, uh, and it has a um, ESP8266 uh, inside uh, with an um, old Nokia screen, uh, and then that then hooks up inside um, uh, to, the, to the buttons so that you can click them, uh, and then there's buttons for um, raising the temperature, basically the same buttons from, from the game, and one for, for triggering uh, speaking. Uh, and I, I can track whether the speaking started by the, the listening bit there. So this is the model in Blender, and I rigged it so that you can create animations in Blender and then run this Python script, which will export frames from that animation. But I've since changed it to a different method. You've got the top part in which the battery is located, and then underneath you've got the, uh, the cogs for the two arms, which have a servo each, and servos for the back legs, which are done with a metal rod, and as well another servo which will rotate the tail. Uh, and then looking at the front section, uh, you've got another servo which rotates the, the head, and then in here you've got the, the servo for the tentacle and the servo for the, for the mouth. So either through Seaman's code or via the menu, you can control the tail at the back, you can control the legs, you can move the arms. The next bit is the, the neck, so you can rotate the head. Um, you can also affect the tentacle, and finally you can control the mouth. You can also set up animations, so like a waving animation or one-handed wave. I've got a head shake here and a tentacle wobble. Uh, you can change any of the, the servos locations or you've got some custom animations which are created. These could do with being fleshed out and linked to the questions but I just haven't done that yet. But you can define a, a custom sequence like this, so the servo number and then the um, values that you want to set it to. Uh, and then we can also talk for X amount of seconds, um, which is what's done each time a WAV is played. So it checks the, the length of the WAV and then um, just waggles the mouth for that amount of time. Originally, I was trying out a few different methods, like trying to map the mouth to the sounds that are coming out of it, but um, it just looked funny when it was waggling randomly, so I've kept that. 
So next in the feature creep, here's the tank set up. Um, we've got a thermometer over on the right hand side of the screen. I'm too hot. Lay off the damn heat. Next to it we've got an NFC reader for saving and loading. We've got a thermal printer and we've got the bugs down at the bottom. So for the bugs, you can turn on the lights uh, and also they have uh, motion to them. Uh, so there's a, an electromagnet underneath and that'll uh, trigger on every, every few seconds. Uh, so that uh, it does an eating motion. Um, also, the bugs, if I take one out, uh, they they have a hinge uh, at the front here, uh, and then a magnet held within it, uh, and that then means that when you put it up next to Seaman's face, um, he can recognise that it's there and start eating. Hey, hey, thanks for the food. The fish tank also has a, a main page, so from here you can adjust the thermometer, which works by using a syringe to, to push the liquid up and down the, the thermometer. You can turn on the bug light and change the colour, um, and you can also uh, monitor the sonar and the motion of the little bugs that nod. So this section here has an NFC reader behind it that you can use to store your um, game. So it'll take a deep photo of yourself, deep fake you onto Seaman's head, uh, and then print this off on a thermal printer that's held behind here. Um, once it's printed off, you can then stick the sticker onto your uh, card and that'll be your saving and loading for the progress. Going through here, you've got the NFC reader up at the top, then you've got a, a thermal Bluetooth thermal printer, um, and then this is the syringe which pushes the uh, liquid through for the thermometer. Um, underneath, you've got the electromagnets underneath the bug chamber here uh, and it's run on there with a raspberry pi and just um, uh, usb power there at the back of here you can see uh, the, there's the lights which are projecting backwards and then we've got a control for the brightness of the lighting there um, and also uh, this is the sonar sensor so it measures the the distance across that your hand is so that the water can splash if I refresh that page, for example, you can see all of the same options that were on the um, on the computer screen can be seen here as well. Uh, and when you're speaking to to Seaman, um, uh, you can either type to um, type to enter something through to him. You can see a speech bubble of the text that he's just spoken. Uh, you've got all of the the different options. So, for example, if I do, how's it going? I'll show here. And then I also track the VMU um, that, that shows on the controller. The lighting can be controlled from here. Very good. You know how to turn the light. Oh, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Any, anything that you can say to them is, is shown here. This bottle uh, is used when you want to be able to spray Seaman. It's got a little Bluetooth camera trigger in there uh, wired up to here. So you can have liquid within the bottle. Uh, and then when you click spray, it, it then passes a message through to the server. For the bugs with the waggly heads, it comes in two parts, which slot together. And inside there, um, it has this 3D printed part with the head attached on one side and a magnet attached to the other, uh, so that it hinges back and forth. So Seaman's been through a bunch of revisions uh, across the time that I've been making him. But originally, this was the old setup. So it's similar, but it used pull cords and then had servos mounted inside it. But this was rebuilt so that I could upgrade the face and also so that I could fit a battery pack inside it. So the current Seaman setup, the battery packs held within the top compartment and inside the bottom, you've got a Raspberry Pi, you've got the uh, step uh, servo uh, controller, the arms around to the front, uh, uh, feet around to the back. And then just looking at the front section, uh, we have a, a servo which twists the head side to side uh, and then within the um, within the face uh, you have one servo that pulls the mouth up and down like a marionette and one servo that pulls pulls tight the cord to make the tentacle go up um, and then there's space here for the uh, reed switch for the magnetic food sensing and also for the gyroscope um, to track whether he's been picked up if we look at comparing him the, the old face against the, the new one. I, I did some work to, to update it to make it look a bit more lifelike, but I still do love the old setup. And you must take pride in your work, spending that much time at it.
I'd still like to upgrade him so that he has animations that are linked to his responses, like his tentacle thing raising or whatever. But if I implement that, I'll just find something else that needs doing and this video will never get done. Uh, and I'd also like to clean up the model and print it on one of my printers that can actually print straight, uh, but it's already painted, so yeah. Uh, again, I'd like to thank everyone that's given me advice across the years on modeling, coding, mechanisms, and to my girlfriend Gemma for helping me film and edit the video. And I'll link through to a longer playthrough here and also a shorter summary. Ask away if you have any questions, and that's goodbye from me. Don't be a stranger. And goodbye from Seaman. Talk to you soon.